My project is called The Orange Step. My name is Kirill Jeliasko and I come from Bulgaria. Orange is my color and uh, I connect to that color because of my character. I think orange represents passion, uh, fire, aggression in a good way and uh, that's who I am. It took me about two and a half years to create the project. First of all, I was looking for appropriate space. I found an old gym in my elementary school, big enough to fit uh, the height of the paintings. It was like a game, constantly putting myself 10, 12 hours a day in that, in that space walking over the paintings, lifting them up, bringing them down. I made my own rollers and brushes with extensions and uh, so I would reach high spots. And there was, it was a, a, a back and forth, constant dialogue that I was creating by myself, locked in that space. Because it took me about two and a half years to create the project, I, it's a whole process. It's, it's, and the, the step itself represents path, your own way, basically creating your own destiny, your own life. So that's, that's what the, the orange step, the footprint, basically represents. We decided, okay, what location will be the best? And we thought of parks and, and gardens and beach areas with open spaces. So we're like, in this way, a lot of people will be able to see it. My interest was the contrast between Mother Nature and the man-made, in that case, painting. Uh, how will, I was interested in that dialogue that it's gonna create and uh, also with the people standing right next to it, people um, just going there and seeing how huge physically they are and uh, just getting the feeling that we're really small. You know? There is 13 tons of steel. There are 128 pieces. Each of them is 20 feet high by 10 feet wide. In order for us to install such type of project, we we'll need at least eight workers helping us. First, we start with drilling the holes. We drill the holes and uh, they're four and a half feet deep, three and a half inch diameter. It's piped inside of a pipe, so it really gives that, uh, it can rotate and twist when the wind blows instead of having the whole pressure on the entire piece. The painting just spins. And um, then we have two rollers on top of the main pole on a triangle element where with ropes, like you're lifting flag, that's in the same way we're stretching the painting. The best thing that happened to me after I created it and after I first installed it in Bulgaria last year, it freed me even more. I be became a freer person. My, my imagination immediately expanded and, and uh, was naturally looking for different dimensions and different approaches for my, my next project. The Orange Step exhibition was up for uh, 11, 12 days and uh, somehow we caught up with the film festival during one of the weekends and a lot of 
Hollywood movie stars came to, to the show. One of them uh, was Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. God dwells in me and in each of us, and uh, that gives me the real inspiration to, to do what I love doing. And uh, this is my own way of basically displaying His glory and His beauty. I believe that uh, there will be in many different responses and which is what I want. I don't want everybody to just like the project. It is magnificent. I, it's my third trip through the scene, and honest, I have never seen anything more striking. Open, it's, it's wonderful. To have 128 different things, and they all look, they all look different, and it's almost kind of like when each one's done, you can tell that he was in a different mood. It's fantastic. Yeah, I drove by last night, saw the canvases, and thought, got to come back and see them during the daytime, so it's really beautiful. This is a great park to begin with, and now, look at it. it it's got uh, art everywhere. It's, it's really pretty cool. I love a saying from my granddad, my grandfather, saying, if you're about to think, think big. So. If people are about to think, let them at least think big. You have nothing to lose in this life. The project was funded uh, by me and my brother uh, entirely through selling of smaller works and everything that we had, we invested in the project and um, until the moment when we decided to do it in Savannah, bring it to the United States, we did not need help, but here things are a little bit different than back in Bulgaria, Eastern Europe. So. Um, we needed help from uh, regarding the getting the permits, uh, security, and I want to mention that uh, the first man that believed in me was Alex Grikiris, uh, who basically funded the coming of the Orange Step to Savannah, Georgia, and Savannah Historic Foundation uh, helped us with the permits, uh, City of Savannah, and I want to say thank you to all of them. Big thanks to my family, my dad, my, my mom, my brother, my wife, and uh, then everybody else. So that's basically it. And, and of course, of course, I thank God, first of all, you know. <laughs>